name's Lance Etienne. I'm a senior, and I play outside linebacker for Avon Eagles. Uh, my name is Lance Etienne, and I'm number four. I play star for Avon. And my uh, fun fact is uh, I'm the whitest on the team. I use the most sunscreen. And uh, it's 70 and cloudy, I'm still wearing sunscreen. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be an Avon Eagle? Dedication to the grind. It's waking up every morning, coming out to the field, coming out to lifting. It's just such a different culture here. We work way harder here. And I, you, you can see it on the field when we play. But how much more do you guys put in that any other team in the area wouldn't, they, they wouldn't understand? Uh, definitely the lifting part. We, we lift really hard here at Avon. It's four days a week. It's more in the off season. What's that like getting up at 5 a.m. to lift? It's rough. Some days I forget I forget to set alarm and I come in late. Chiketti kind of gets on me, but I love it though. This is a grind. It's getting me set up for life, so it's nice. How much is the brotherhood of this team an advantage for you guys over other teams in the area? The brotherhood of the team is really really tight knit. I so it's like everyone everyone I know I call I call them my brothers. I love everyone on this team. It's nice. How much does that give you an advantage over other teams in the area and in the state? De I definitely think it gives us an advantage. When we're out on the field, we're not playing for stats, we're not playing for highlights, we're playing for each other, and we're all playing. That just makes us play 10 times better. Here you are, your senior year. How psyched are you for it? I'm super excited for my senior year. I've been growing up watching the seniors leave and see them ball out their senior year, so I'm sure I do the same. Go back to day one when you came in this program till now. How has it changed you as a person? Oh, so I moved here in Avon in eighth grade. And it was, it was a shock to me, like, coming to a big, big school, really nice. And I just, it changed me. Like, I didn't take football really that seriously until coming into Avon and this super serious program. And it really got me excited. You have some really talented teammates. Yeah. So what's that like playing with, in this electric stadium with some of these Division One players and just the whole community atmosphere and everything? It's crazy. You, you turn around and look at the stands. You don't realize how many people are here to support you. It's just, it's kind of like a shock to me, like it's a high school football, football game. And then playing playing with the D1 athletes, it's like, everyone thinks sees them as D1 athletes, but I see them as my friends, as my brothers, you know? Just people don't realize how nice and just, they're an actual person, they're not just a football player, you know? How much do playing with players like that, how much do they elevate you and make you want to play better? Oh, they definitely, they fire me a lot. Like, I see them play, I see them do their things. That just makes me want to go out there and do my thing, you know? When I see JC break one or Hamilton drive one in the stands, it's it's awesome. You know, I get excited for them, just like they would get excited for me. You know, what's the perfect way to end your senior year? I don't know. Maybe win hit of the year, something like that. But I don't know. In my in my senior year, of course, a state chip. Everyone wants a state chip. So if I could win that with all with everyone on this team, that'd be amazing. Lance Etn is a guy that's really, really, really committed himself to Avon football. In the offseason, Lance works just as hard, if not harder, than the most of the guys in that weight room. He did that to put himself in a position to be successful. And then Lance right now is, you know, helps us on some special teams. Uh, he's a backup and provides depth for us, but he takes his role seriously and is willing to do whatever it takes for our team to be successful. When you call upon him, he shows up. Yeah, I, I think right now, you know, our safety position and our star linebacker positions, which is like a strong safety um, we've got some really good players, like all Ohio type players playing there. And I tell kids all the time, because you are a backup at Avon does not mean you're a bad player. And I don't mean this to be arrogant, but there's a lot of schools in this area that our backups will be starting for, which is why we're good. You know, I have great coaches with a good plan, but make no mistake, if you don't have great players, you can't win. And we have great players. And uh, he's a great player, um, just not better than the guys in front of him right now. And he's another one that makes your program look better with the attitude that he has that he never says anything, does he? No, I mean, he's obviously, I think anybody wants, there's a lot of kids in our program. There's 116. So clearly some kids are disappointed that they don't have more of a role, but they get it and they understand. We try to have open lines of communication. Um, and what I am most appreciative of is they show up every day and continue to work hard and know that if something happens and they're called upon, they're going to be ready when that moment comes. And I've seen it happen time and time again. So Lance needs to continue to be ready uh, when called upon. I really kind of got close with Lance my freshman year. Funny, he's a funny guy, he's a character. He likes to goof around, he likes some different things. He's, he's different. He likes anime and things that you don't necessarily see from a 17, 18 year old kid every day. He's funny, he likes to joke around. 
How about just when he gets out there, he's one of the more serious players when it comes to just knowing his role and focusing. Yeah, he's locked in. He uh, he wants to prove he belongs out there, and so every chance he gets, I think he capitalizes on it. How about that hit stick he hit the other night? Unfortunately, I didn't get to see it live because I was checking up on Connor in the tent, um, making sure that he was all right and telling him we got him. That one, this one's for him, but uh, I heard the crowd going wild, and then I saw your video. He's a senior, and he waits his time. Mm -hmm. You know, he works on special teams. He gets into games when he can. Just to... How about the attitude of like he doesn't give up? Not a lot of people know this, but he's definitely one of the stronger guys on the team. The offseason, he loves to lift weights. Offseason, he goes in with Paul Blazy and some of his other friends who don't play football, but they love to lift too, and they're kind of all just gym rats, and they all they all love to lift. So he put on a lot of weight throughout his um, four years at Avon. He's working up, and he's trying to play more and more every single week, and I think he's trying to prove to the coaches that you give him a shot, he's gonna he's gonna take advantage of it. If you were a flavor of ice cream, what would you be? Probably cookies and cream because, you know, it's kind of basic, but, like, I love cookies and cream. I've been growing up with that. Probably a milkshake, though. I don't really like regular ice cream. If you were a pizza, what toppings would be on you? Oh, gee. can't be asking me that. A pizza with no uh, – I'd probably just be plain, plain cheese. I don't really I don't really add anything to it. I like just regular cheese. Yeah? You know? Yeah. Just the OG? Yeah, just the OG cheese. Okay. If Hollywood made a movie about Lance Etienne, oh, no. who would star as Lance? Who would star as me? Myself, ain't nobody can play me like me, you know what I'm saying? No one can play me like me, you know? They don't know what I've gone through and stuff, so, yeah. Is there someone either present or past player or a family member or somebody you know that you idolize and look up to? Someone who's, who's raised me in the sports, bred me in the sports is my grandpa. He's always been there, bred me in the sports, so he's someone I look up to. Also, my aunt, my aunt, I live with my aunt. She coaches sports. She knows She knows her way around every sport in the book. So they've, they've both been idols to me, taught me from a little kid.